thanks everyone thanks for joining today is day number 19 and today we are going to learn about qs configuration quality of service configuration and if time permits then i will uh, go and do the configuration related to routing policy rp routing policy ACLS, access control list and uh, we are going to verify all these things. So these things we can go and verify via the CLI. We have option to create CLI type of template. We have option to create the feature template like uh, configuration, like CLI or GUI. Bo both modes are there. Okay, so first of all, what I'll do, uh, let's go and do the configuration related to quality of service. Now, when you are doing the configuration related to QAS, quality of service, so I told you earlier that we have different type of phase, different type of steps we have. Are you able to recall what steps we have? Yeah, first define the queue. Then you have to create class map to queue mapping, right? And you have queue, queue zero. Uh, Q1, Q2, and Q3 in the software form factor. And you have up to eight queues inside hardware, like hardware VH. Okay. What is step number two? Creating the map, right? Creating the map. Or something, some other thing. So you have to do something scheduling. Schedule, scheduling, yeah, correct. Scheduling, then creating the map. And inside schedule, what you are doing? You, have to you call, are calling yeah, a step on number one, yeah. One, yeah. Then what's the step number three? You have to create the map and you have to call class two. Yeah. So QS map. And once you do that, then you will go and call two. Behind the scene, two will call one. Right? Correct. All right. Apart from that, we have two more steps related to ACL. Oh. So you can go and create ACLs uh, for VPN interfaces, and you can go and apply the ACL. So ACL creation and ACL apply. And finally, you have to go and apply the QoS map. Right? Any doubt in this? We have checked this in our theory section. So what is our strategy here? So what we are going to do that uh, we'll take the box and in this box, suppose if you have your uh, VPN zero interface, let me write VPN, okay. V, V, N, zero, okay. Now this VPN zero, the top one is not right. So this VPN zero, this is your WAN interface, right? So here you have to go and apply your QS map. Remember one famous statement for QS. We are applying QS to which uh, those interfaces where we have congestion or where we have some uh, issue related to network traffic. Since our WAN interfaces, maybe you have uh, 100 Mbps or 200 Mbps or 300 uh, Mbps link, that uh, means you have some sort of uh, uh, speed limitation. Why? Because you may have a fast sender, slow receiver type of thing. So LAN is speed. So you may have maybe 100 LAN interfaces or maybe, for example, three LAN interfaces with 10 gigi and your WAN interface is just a one gig interface. So obviously there, there is some issue sending, receiving the packets, right? So that's why mostly you'll find the configuration over the uh, WAN fa facing interface, over the ISP facing interface, right? So this uh, next question here is this, then what type of configuration you are doing to service VPN? or LAN facing interface. Yeah, you can answer. So here, what type of QS will apply to service side VPN? Suppose this is VPN 10, this is VPN 20, suppose this is VPN 40. 
VPN 10 we know in our case is for uh, corporate traffic, corporate VPN. Uh, VPN 20 we have uh, maybe for uh, PCI traffic, credit card information traffic, and VPN 40 is there for Wi-Fi type of traffic. Right, so tell me that what type of QoS quality of service you will apply to these interfaces. Okay, ACL or policing, right? We will apply ACL, right? But uh, what type of QoS we can go and apply there? And uh, I'll make this a little bit simple. You just think about one VPN, say VPN 10. Question not getting, maybe uh, class map you will apply, right? So I'll ask this in other format. What type of QoS you are applying to WAN facing interface? Uh, what type of QoS you are applying to LAN facing interface? That's my question. Where your routers will go connect with switch, right? Mm -hmm. And here your router is connecting with ISP. So do we have any difference applying QoS in these places? If yes, then what uh, what type of differences we have? On the one side you are putting your policy map, right? So it means QoS, yes. you to give, give it more as an example, like this QoS side map. normally you know the class map, like the land side. Class map, you're right. Not so, class map, like classification of traffic. Yeah. Classification of 100% right. So basically, in land side, we are doing classification, we are doing marking, classification and marking. Uh, generally, we are not doing a uh, no, lot of prioritization of traffic, but uh, I will I will show you the standard configuration we have in both the van side. Van side, whatever we have studied so far, we are going to apply that. But for the land side, we'll go and do some sort of classification and mapping that you will understand in the configuration, right? So knowing this strategy, let's go. First of all, I will show you one configuration related to QS and then uh, we'll go and create it. There is no problem on that. So step number one, I told you earlier, let me increase the font size. So we can go here in a step number one and we can do some sort of class, so I, I will go and create class was map with Q0 because we know that Q0 is high priority traffic, Q1 is high priority traffic, like that. So we have different classes, class was, class video, uh, business traffic, best effort, like that we can do. This is step number one. Any problem in this? No. Okay, then what is the step number two? Scheduler. So let me show you that. So here you can see that we have a step number two. And what we are doing in the step number two, let me highlight. So we have scheduler, say for example, name itself best effort, where we are calling which class? Best effort, right? Now here you can go and give the uh, bandwidth percentage, buffer percentage, and the uh, random early detect drop, red, right? Then you can see uh, biz, uh, business data, so it's just, it, this is just the name, right? Then here we are calling the class call viz data. We are giving more uh, bandwidth percent, buffer percent, uh, and then the drops, like a red drop, okay? Then you can see that we have the video schedulers. And let me scroll a little down. And here you can see that this way you can go and create it. If it is voice, we are using low latency queue uh, methodology. And it is, it is done. Any problem in this step as well? Yeah, that means what is the syntax we are using here? Syntax, the, this syntax you're asking? Yeah, yeah, suppose that in the most of the product on the circuit, what I'm saying here. 
they are preparing the voice over uh, all the circuits. I mean, suppose that if video is there, voice is there, data is there, but if customer is facing any kind of the issue in the voice, simply they are creating the ticket here to resolve the issue. So how we can go and prefer the yeah. voice traffic? So you can see that uh, for voice, we are dedicating the bandwidth percent, 15%. And this having the scheduling LLQ, low latency queue. So that means this is the priority. For voice, we are giving the priority. And you're right that in QS, we are giving maybe 10% or 15% priority to voice. Now here you can see two things. Uh, theory I have explained in the earlier class that we have class to queue map and queues are somewhere, you can see voice is inside Q0. This is a high priority queue. So voice is mapping with the highest priority queue, Q0. And then in terms of bandwidth, we are reserving 15% bandwidth for the voice traffic and scheduling we are giving low latency queue, LLQ. Okay, so if you are going to prioritize the voice traffic, then we need to schedule the queue. The number is the zero, right? Yes, that is high priority queue we have. Yeah. That priority is high queue. priority. Like in Cisco term, 1P3Q like that. So it's like mm -hmm. that, 1P3Q. One priority okay. queue and rest of the normal queues. Okay. And uh, how we are going to save the traffic here? Suppose that if uh, ISP is giving the 30 MPPS link, and uh, we are providing them uh, at least reminds uh, customer is paying only for the 10 Mbps. So how we can uh, uh, save this traffic uh, by decided the QoS? Uh, so inside QoS, we are not setting it. Inside QoS, whatever bandwidth we have, for example, 10 Mbps, inside that 10 Mbps, we are giving 50% for this, 30% for this, 15% for this, like we are making 100 but the traffic uh, but the bandwidth over the tunnel or over the interface we have option that we can go to the interface and set that bandwidth there uplink and down speed okay okay so that will be the set in the interface interface level yes interface okay, level and whatever and the option. bandwidth we are getting at the interface level you are dividing in the percentage like 15% 30% and 50% like that 100% yes total bandwidth yep uh, Ranis, what is this vapor percent? Like, uh, explain this term. Yeah, so maybe you know that we have buffer as well. Buffer means that how, la how long that uh, packet will wait or can wait till it's, uh, uh, you know, till it's uh, TTL will expire, something like that. So not mm -hmm. only that, it, it, this is, you know, this is something like um, shaping, you know, shaping and policing. So when yeah. you have when when you have shaping type of configuration, and that configuration is not there in the uh, in the localized data configuration, we have policing option. Uh, shaping we are doing from here, from the buffer percent. Okay. So we have some extra buffer, and if uh, you know it will go beyond that particular limit, it still it has some buffer. You know, it's like that. If I can plot some diagram here, you will understand more um, here. So suppose this is your max bandwidth on top. Still you have some, some sampling can go on top of that. Still you have some sort of buffer for the traffic. All right, so configuration, you can see it's very straightforward and it's very much simplified. And then finally, we'll go to the uh, QoS map and then we'll call all the schedulers. Inside schedulers, we have the class and those class are mapped with the uh, queues, right? Now this WAN QoS will go and apply to the VPN0 interfaces. And those interfaces, again, we have option to set the bandwidth like 10 Mbps or 30 Mbps, etc. Even we have option to set the bandwidth per tunnel as well. Part tunnel. Yeah. QS part tunnel option is also there. What is this tunnel like? 
um maybe uh, if you know dm vpn you know yeah yeah so dm vpn uh, you know that uh, if you have two tunnel two different tunnels um you can allocate to bandwidth to the tunnels as well these are nothing but ipsec tunnels mm -hmm. okay uh so this is all about um uh, setting up the queues over the wan interface right now one question to you that do we need direction as well it doesn't need right okay so if we don't have direction that means it is applied to both directions right as per your logic <laughs> as per viptela logic okay so either packet will come to my router or i will send the traffic outside from myself means coming from isp to me or leaving my premises to isp like that yeah so here we don't have this direction <clears throat> let's quickly go and check acls access access control list so um where you are access control list and you will see here that we have access list related to right so you will see here that we have access list for for example vpn 40 suppose i have vpn 40 where i have my wifi users this is isp side and then we have vpn 10 vpn 20 and vpn 40 vpn 40 is there for the wifi so for wifi and obviously these uh, ackles that we are applying is basically for service side vpn okay and here you can see that this particular acl i will go and apply here in the inward direction okay uh, what we are doing simply we are telling that uh, the class is best effort so anything that is belonging to wifi network or maybe anything that is belonging to more precisely guest wifi network give that particular uh, vrf class best effort best effort why because class best effort is mapped with which queue the least priority queue q3 okay we have four queue q0 q1 q2 q3 so for wifi network we are mapping this as a best effort we are giving this queue number 3 or queue number 4 uh any problem in this logic it's okay right mm -hmm. okay then we have one other vpn and again uh, these are just the vpn in this particular lab but you can think you may have different different uh, things as well so then we have other vpn and think this as a for business traffic or business data so for that we are giving the other queue maybe queue number 2 in between range so we have four different queues queue 0 is for control traffic or watch traffic queue 1 is for high trap uh, high priority traffic plus video then you have q2 and q3 q3 is there for best effort traffic now if we have a spectrum means if you have eight queues again you can divide this traffic uh, more precisely in in prompt manner right you have more option that you can segregate the device uh, segregate the uh, queues and uh, the classes so q2 we can go and map this business traffic because behind the scene class business data will be mapped with the queue number 2 right so it will be like this now very 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 important classification we have for vpn 10 and you will see the logic here logic here is this that suppose i have one particular vpn and in that vpn 
I have different type of traffic. So in that VPN, users may go and use voice. User may go, they can use some video conferencing. So they can use voice, they can use video, they can go and use some business traffic as well, like HTTPS related traffic, some SAP applications, etc. In that particular group, user may use some internet traffic as well, uh, best effort traffic as well, low priority traffic as well. Right. So we have one particular uh, VRF where we have mix of different type of traffic. Right. So for that particular service side VPN, we can go and create one ACL. We can match the DSCP, uh, high value DSCP for voice. Other DSCP, we can match for video. And then uh, other DSCP, and if you don't know DSCP, this is uh, differentiated service code point. Uh, this is some sort of QoS plus uh, L3 QoS type of feature where you can go and do the marking. So marking can be done. And if you have voice related traffic, then they have, they are falling under, uh, what is that? AF40, AF, AFAE uh, something, assured forwarding. Uh, Q is number can be converted in other format as well. But this is high priority marking. This is little bit less. So uh, you have different type of, you know, cell and rows, cell, uh, rows and columns. So four, then three, then two like that you have. You can have a look little bit on, uh, you know, DSCP spectrum, how it is. So this means that again, this is some low priority traffic mapped with uh, business data. And finally, uh, if nothing is falling in these criteria, so nothing is falling in sequence number 10, sequence number 20, sequence number 30, 40, 50, 60. Then we have one default statement. So all the traffic will go with this particular default statement where we have default queue. That queue is mapped with the class best effort. Okay. Uh, I'm a bit confused. The past, uh, this, this access is based upon VPN 10, right? VPN 10, you may have mix of traffics, right? Yeah, VPN 10 users can use wires, can use video, can use internet, can use uh, uh, SAP means HTTP traffic, HTTPS traffic. So they are also within VPN itself, you can do classification and you can segregate the traffic. Yeah, for VPN 20, only one kind of traffic eh, in this example. Uh, yeah, in this example, yeah. And just example, you may have mix as well. And for VPN 40 as well, you have, assuming that you have only wireless user, means guest, guest Wi-Fi is there, some guest users, so it's okay. We can give best effort for that. Okay. Where it is written, VPN 40? Uh, actually, this is for VPN 40. When I'll go and apply it, I will apply it to VPN 40. Okay. It's not written, but uh, we are going to apply there. Okay, let me quickly show you this, where it is. So if you go to, let me close, I don't think so, I have session. Okay. I do, I have VPN connection. Okay. Okay, so if you can check show run VPN 10, you'll see that uh, you have an interface gigi zero slash one. On that interface, you are applying LAN classification. Uh, show run VPN 20, you, you're applying this access list. This is not the access list we have in the Cisco access list. This is access list type of policy. And then if you go and check uh, 10, Right, so like that you can go and apply it. Now, if you go and check show and VPN zero, 
this is our van facing interface so over the uh yeah here you can see interface gig zero zero we have tunnel interface and then we are all applying qs map van qs okay and like like that you can see the other interface that is for internet is for mpls uh, so here we don't have that it's okay one interface i have this van qs apply that is internet qs map we'll check the other configuration as well okay so what i will do i will show you that how we can create this from cli it's okay let me quickly show you the cli format Oops. and uh, i will show you the gui as well let's try to create the gui example as well where you will apply this policy yeah, question to you where these policies you are going to apply in the png root all right mm, that's good answer vpn0 but vpn0 we we are putting only this statement inside vpn0 inside interface so not vpn0 exactly but we know we have two template one vpn0 other one is vpn0 interface so this we are applying over VPN zero interface, right? Okay. Uh, anyways, we'll see that. But what about the rest of the configuration? Where it is in the template? Which rest of the configuration? Like uh, class to Q map, like uh, uh, Q schedulers, Q map. Uh, apply in the VPN ten twenty two thousand, right? Mm, and where you are. Uh, where it is in uh, configuration in the template that is my question okay let me quickly show you that uh, first of all i'll show you that and then i'll show you the entire configuration okay let me log in to we manage Okay, here we are, and let's go to the configuration. Okay, and um, template. First of all, I'll show you the template. Let's go to the template. And let's go to DC template. I click edit. Now you see that you have uh, basic information, right? Transport and management VPN, service VPN, and then you have an additional template. If you click this, you'll find localized policy, policy, localized policy, security policy. Also, you're applying here. And localized policy also you're applying where in the additional template so what what is there in this let's see so the name is localized policy baseline right so let me show you this policy and now you can click to configuration policies localized policy see this one third one localized policy baseline if you can go and click view or edit anything. See, this is the configuration I copied. Let me copy one more time. So we have created all these lists and I'll come back to this list and all, but let's focus on the QS part. So you can see here that all QS configuration, except the apply the QS. So the configuration, everything you have created inside the localized policy, either CLI or GUI. I will show you the GUI as well. This is CLI format, right? But when uh, you are, yes. Uh, what is that 
flow visibility always coming those are part of different thing right in the top yeah so this is part of policy app visibility flow visibility um you should enable it by default these things are enabled app visibility means your device now is able to see all those applications flow visibility means it is able to see the net flow or c flow type of data so these will be there by default uh, no need to enable it and cloud queues for uh, uh, for v edge routers whose form vector whose form factor is cloud so these four lines will be there You Multiple can check. Enable. Yeah, it will be there. Yeah, you can go and check in your uh, router. Show. Uh, what was that command? Let me show you this. Show app. Let me go and show you this. So uh, you can go and check in your router, and if you are not able to see that output, that means these are not enabled in your device. Show app. Ah, uh, API applications see so if you do not enable app visibility you will not see application deep packet inspection that's the dpi application means inside your inside your box deep packet inspection is enabled or not you can see there how about the flow visibility command here flow visibility simply go to policy and check flow visibility any comment is here so comment show command show app dpi application that is one so that is for app visibility well, yeah. flow visibility do you have similar command flow visibility you have c float command so let me show you that let me show this c app c float and uh, you can do i think flows and total then flows also has so many options total packets this is flow visibility if it is disabled this output will not come right yes this should be enabled Okay, and if it is not there, that means you can check why it, why so. You, you can check your policy. Great. So let's continue and where we are in the template. So let's go back there. Okay. And uh, I'll come to this list and all, but uh, this is the exact configuration of QS, QS maps, or jewelers, etc. We have discussed and then the ACLs as well. Now, just focus on this term. You can create this policy. Still, you can create it. Does it mean that it is applied? And different pieces in this policy, they are applied at different places. Okay. So, you can see that still in this configuration, you have something called your route policy, right? So route policy will apply it on some other place. Then you can go and check the access list. Access list, they are applied on other places. And then your QoS map. QoS map will go and apply you on other place. Okay. So it's very interesting, this localized policy. And a little bit confusing as well if you're, if someone don't know where to apply where what policy so you have full device configuration template right device configuration template and in this you know that in bottom you have something called additional template inside that additional template you have this option for localized policy right now this localized policy you can go and create all sort of policy what type of access list qs uh, port mirroring configurations okay all sort of uh, uh, then route policy configuration like these four of it's not like a good amount of number like four or five different type of policies you can create 
Now, creation of policy doesn't mean that they are applied to certain interfaces. Again, you have to go inside the template and you have to apply inside the template. Okay, so let me quickly show you. So what are the things you, we are finding here? We are finding here, where is QoS map applied? Say QoS map. It is, you know, it is one of the difficult thing you have in SD-WAN in localized policy. And I, I don't think so anyone can ask you question related to this in any interview because it's too confusing. So QS map, you will go and apply to VPN zero interface. I'm going to show you that, all these things. Then you have something called ACL where you will apply that. Then where you will go and apply the route policy. <clears throat> we have only these three in this list. So I will show you all these, all the three. Okay, and uh, let's see. So first of all, QS map, obviously this is applied to VPN zero interfaces. So let's verify. And how you can search it. That is also one thing to understand. Let me clean this. Close this. Okay. So here we are inside the device template. And I just wanted to know that what is the name of VPN zero, uh, VPN zero interface template. So you can click here and VPN zero interfaces. So VPN zero interfaces, uh, name is internet T-lock, MPLS T-lock, right? And these are the feature templates. So I can go Why you want to remove the T-lock? Sorry. Why both interfaces are named as Tilo? They are the gateways. You can give any name, right? So you have one device tooling, huh? Yes, everywhere in this lab. Oh. So let's search this uh, uh, data center VPN zero T lock interfaces and uh, you'll find where are the T locks. MPLS T-Lock I can see. Like that you'll find somewhere internet T-Lock as well. But uh, let's, uh, okay, let's check this particular uh, interface. So we can go and verify it. Let's click here. MPLS T-Lock interface. Now, once you reach here, this, uh, this is, uh, very easy because you have one separate uh, tab here related to ACL QS, right? Simply click here and it will tell you that QS map is applied here. Likewise, if it is a VPN 10 interface template, then you can see that you have the ingress, egress Q, um, ACLs, right? Now, <clears throat> You can go to this channel. Hmm. So here you can see, I can turn it on. Bandwidth downstream is required for per tunnel QS feature to take effect as a spoke rule something for you to check. And maybe Sanjay is working on this part of configuration because he is supporting SD-WAN devices. All right. So uh, first puzzle, what? Goodness. When you showed that configuration, that was very much easy. But when you try to correlate here, the steps are not clearing. Like if you can 
open that uh, notepad and uh, like show it which part is uh, related to here like yeah i will summarize that no problem uh, so it's very easy uh, and it's very very logical easy in the sense that uh, so inside your localized policy sorry for a spelling mistake localized policy uh, you may have uh, uh, qs for lan qs for van right then you have a route policy right so qs for van is nothing but qs map where you have to apply this vpn zero interface template one of the feature template right lan what you have lan for lan you have acls and where you have to apply very simple uh, vpn one up to vpn 511 means service side vpn interface template ft right then route policy route policy may be inside any vpn you can go for example i'll write router ospf and then you can go and use some sort of re distribute command and there you can apply this route policy Okay, uh, but localized policy, where you will create that localized policy? You will create that localized policy in the policy section, right? So where it is going to create it? It is going to create it at the rate of policy section. And these apply a statement where they are. They are at the rate of feature template or device feature template okay but Any yesterday doubt? you mm -hmm. told that this localized policy will be only like on the inside template you can create as a template i have shown you this right so localized okay. policy you are create see localized policy you are creating at the policy section but where you are applying template you are applying sorry for again the wrong spelling applying applying you are creating as a device feature template as a additional right template so this is just the container you are creating but the apply a statement over vpn zero interfaces you have to go and apply there right And what is the, this route policy you are explaining? What is the relation with this QS? Okay, I haven't reached to route policy. Uh, when I'll come, I'll explain. Just focus on line number one to line number 10. Okay, that got it. Okay. Got it. Very good. Great. So before going to route policy, maybe we can go in next class in this section. There is no problem. But let's understand this part 100%. And then obviously, we'll go and check that. So what we have done so far is that you have seen this cli type of configuration i'm going to show you the uh, feature template like not feature template but gui type of configuration so let's go and do it now once you are inside the configuration and the policy clearly on top you can see that you have this option called localize policy as well you can go and click add policy and then one workflow will come in this workflow if you check on top you'll find that uh, you have group of interest like uh, um, data prefix list class map you know as path etc etc you can go and create objects then you have the forwarding uh, classes like qs Q2 class map, right? Point number one. Then you have this ACLs. You can go and create the ACLs in next step. Then you can go and create the route policy. Then you can go and check your policy. 
Here, this is not VS Smart you are applying to inward, outward, etc., etc. Then you have to go to the physical inter uh, physical interfaces, and then you, there you have to give that name. If you do not give that name, you know, all the time you will push the template into throw error. It's quite interesting. Right, what I'm telling that suppose if you are creating policy called QS map 100. Now, if, if you don't have policy here, and if you go and apply to interface, obviously it will throw error, right? Again, I'll show you that you'll understand. So first of all, let's go and create one policy. Whatever policy we have, uh, I will take the reference. Sorry, I think I got muted. So I'll take reference, I'll create the policy. You will understand it 100%, no problem. So I'll do one thing. Where is our notepad? Let me open the notepad. Okay, it's blank notepad. And I'll go and copy the configuration that we have. Let's go back to the notepad. Let me increase the font size a little bit. Where is that increment? Okay. So let's do it. List will go and create a infrastructure route like you can see here. Let's go here. And you can see data prefix. Uh, it should be here or maybe it is there in prefix. Let's see. Infrastructure routes. Okay. Data prefixes we have. Data prefix 1 and data prefix 2. I'll go and create one new prefix list. And... Uh, just to make you understand I'm doing this. I'll use one by the end of that. So we can go and create this prefix list. Why we are creating this, I'll explain you this in a while. So example, oh, so we can, we can use this whole list. Just to show you I'm creating this. And what it is telling that we can go and give comma and we can add to. Click add, let's see. So some problem it got. And what was that? Incorrect IP prefix, I think we can't give to is it like this? Let's see. Separated by don't know what's the problem. Okay, no problem. So let me give the name first and then the prefix. This one and then some error was there, no problem, I'll correct it. This you can paste and then you can give comma and I hope it will take okay. So uh infrastructure route we have given these two like that comma and you can give more and more. Then uh, I'll not go and create everything uh, just 
two for example. Then we'll go and give other start ending with one and then the prefix. Now this is very interesting that if you see this particular subnets, they are belonging to, so this is belonging to data center VPN 10. That's why you can see 10.0, 10.0. Then you can see data center VPN 20. 20.0, 20.0. Then all branches, they have network in our lab. They have network 10.3, 10.4, 10.5. Okay, if this is branch two, this is branch three, this is branch four. We don't have network in our lab 10.5, but we have 10.3, 10.4. Okay, so then let's let's create all. Oh, so what I'm doing here, let's give this prefix because this is actually very interesting and practical with respect to a route loop. So what I'm telling, you will understand after five, 10 minutes. Let me first of all, create all these containers, like all this policy and objects. And I'll explain it. So now we have DC VPN 10 network. And then we'll go add more. This time DC, 20, one. Meanwhile, I'm creating this. Um, nowadays, I'm getting so many requests related to ST1 training uh, over my YouTube videos. I should not do wrong configuration, so let me. Okay, so we are inside now DC VPN 20. DC, v, DC VPN 20. Okay. Uh, you know, in Bihar, uh, there is one teacher. His name is Khan. Khan, sir. Have you heard about him? Yeah, he's popular. So, <clears throat> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know him. Okay. He's, he's very, very <clears throat> popular. And he started he's... a tune also. Ah, uh, no, not as he just. Uh, today, so today, Sanjay, I have lots of guests, local guests came to my house today. So they are telling a story about himself. Uh, I asked that, uh, I, I know him, I mean, I have seen his videos in YouTube. Those are very funny. But uh, I asked him that why this much of uh, popularity he has. So he told me that uh, he is giving whole training you know at uh, 29 rupees or something like that 30 rupees and uh, whenever he is a starting batch um, approx 10 to 15 lakh students are joining in one batch so you can understand even that 30 rupees is also good good amount oh. right but anyways, if someone is giving teach training in that uh, less fees, that is awesome thing. This is one type of uh, social service. And uh, okay. then then I heard some Bye. some trainers, they came in Patna, Bihar itself. Some trainers, they came from Kota. In Kota, mostly you'll find Bihar and UP students, they're going there because... Uh, they are preparing for ITs and other things. So some faculty, they came from Kota. They came here in Patna. They started their institute and their, their training fees is very less. I don't know how much, maybe 300 or 400 for entire IIT training. So IIT training itself is Fiji and other institute. They are charging maybe one lakh or something. I don't know. And someone is giving tra training in maybe 5,000. All of a sudden, you know, he becomes so popular and all of a sudden, quota graph went down. So, Institute in quota, they have reduced their price 50%. And now they are telling that we are giving a scholarship to students, but that's the reality, that they are forced to reduce their price. Yeah. And that... 
I listen about the cancer. I listen that uh, someone is saying that this is not his original name. Maybe he belongs to some different uh, things, but then publicly he is using that cancer. No, no, he clarified. He clarified. He came to the uh, uh, TV news channel and he clarified that is his original surname. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, my point is whatever name, anyways, is doing good thing. Good thing. No, know? no, it's very popular. Uh, like the yeah. best thing is multi-domain knowledge. Like everywhere, yeah, he has knowledge. I was watching one video on the stealth uh, fighter jet. It's so good knowledge here. Yeah. Okay. And then other guy, I don't know his name. He's some physics teacher. He came to, so he's also gaining so much popularity. Uh, single, so nowadays, you know what is happening? They are announcing one batch. And in one batch, they are getting <laughs> 20,000, 40,000 students. So even if they charge 5,000 also, you know, 40,000 students paying 5,000. That's, that's good. A, a money and they can arrange that much quality that whatever those those guys they're getting in quota or other place so that's the thing that's good thing good thing happening uh, personally i feel that all this education should be free at least up to 12th or maybe graduation then well and good but so much money you have to pay for better education for your children that is not good we should have free education in India. All right. So meanwhile, um, you can see. Okay. So we have this prefix. And you can see that we have some data prefix as well. Uh, I'll come to that as, as well. Just hold on. So I'm just following this uh, template that we have. I just wanted to show you that you can go and create it. We have this prefix. And if I go to bottom, that's okay. I can I can complete this configuration. Seems all right. So then route policy, I will show you that where you can go and do the configuration. Uh, let's uh, check the configuration template. I can safely click next. There's no problem. But if I go back, um, you can see that there are other terms as well like VPN like prefix we have done like policer i told you that you can do the policing uh, again it will apply to the interface only mirroring is there that is other type of policy uh, span type of configuration you can do class map okay so we should create this class map here you can see class map i was skipping but we should have this although you can see that we have let me show you this so you can go and give the class name, say I'll go and give um, a video. And before doing any such configuration, you should have clear vision that what you are creating. I'll go and give name as a video one, and then I'll make this as a class one because voice is there for Q0. So you can see that we have video one here in the bottom, mapping with Q number one. Like that, I'll go and create one more. I'll go and create was one, mapping with uh, zero. Like that, you can see that you have this data, you have a video, uh, or best effort like that, okay? So no problem, we can go next. Now, here you can see that we have this option called QS map. So I can go ahead and click new. Wow. That's why I came to this location. Just to show you this animation, <laughs> this, this GUI thing. So let's uh, give this name secures scheduler one. And uh, Add queue. I'll I'll click here. Add queue. Okay. That's a funny thing. Select a queue. And what queues we have? We have this. Okay. So select a queue one. Um, as per our policy, 
Let's check. And let's go to the scheduler. So Q class map we have done, right? This oops. This is skipped up. This we have done. And uh, let's see here. So scheduler, um, best effort, scheduler, best effort, blah, blah, blah. All those things are there. So for uh, mm, one video, bandwidth buffer like that. I'll differ a little bit, but it's OK. Let me scroll this. <clears throat> Even I can go and type here. So 30, you can go and type here 30. It's not working typing there. 15, 15 I took, okay? Then scheduling, you can see round, weighted round robin, what is the drop preference? Random early or tail drop? You should use the standard one that is random early. Forwarding class, because we have chosen one, so it is showing video, right? Click save. So by default, you can see Q0 was there on top. And uh, it is for control traffic. Again, I'll come back to that. Let's go and add more Q. And this time we'll go and add Q number two. Let's give any good amount of number. Because anyways, it will go and calculate it. This is for visit data. How would I select you automatically or what you told? Yeah, so simply you, you have to go and select the number here. Yeah. And yeah. it will select this forwarding class because we have this number, we have the class there. And drop best effort, I'll go and do some sort of tail drop. Okay. So uh, I haven't given any bandwidth. I should go and give it. So you can give this pencil button. Give some little bit of bandwidth buffer, maybe four or five. Okay. So now you can see that whatever number we are giving here, it is carving that number from the Q0. At the moment, Q0 has the highest bandwidth and buffer, etc. It's showing tail drop and all. You can go and click there, Q0. This is for control, burst. We can't do much here, you can, we don't have that option. Right, so save it. And you can play around with other cues that you have in the bottom. You give some more bandwidth, so Q0 will get automatically reduced. So now it's 22%, etc. And here you can see nice diagram you have for bandwidth and buffer. Okay. Okay, so now we are here in QS schedulers. We can go to the next. Now this particular piece we have related to access control list. So what you want, you want to create add IPv4 ACL policy. Click there, add access. I should give the name as well on the top. So let's go, let's just start with a small one, okay? Let's just start with the Wi-Fi, guest Wi-Fi. And then we'll go and check the rest of the ACLs. Guest Wi-Fi, what's the policy? Sequence 10. Ex uh, action accept and the class is best effort. Okay. So let's go here and um, this is nothing but guest Wi Fi 1 is renaming it and then add the sequence rule. What we want to match? Match the class. That is best effort. So matching and then take the action. Let's see the ACL. Let me scroll a little bit up here. 
So matching, take the action except and the default action is except. So matching, take the action as a except, save this, and then the default action is by default it is dropped, except, save. So this is one of the ACLE. I can save this ACLE here. Then here we'll go and create one more. Okay, and this is big one. So let's create this. Hmm. Sometimes you may feel that why we are creating like this, the CLI option is a little bit easy, right? So once you have all this template, you can, you know, simply copy paste. That's right. If you are good in CLI, you can do that. If, because this is one time effort, you can create it and you can reuse these templates. Right. So land classification, match DSCP, action accept, then the class. It's very easy. So here you should go here, add. Now you can see the sequence rule. Match the DSCP. 46. Then what we are matching. And then we are doing the action except and then the class, something like that. So it's go to action, except, and then you match the class and then give the class name. Uh, for this, it is video. We have multiple options there. Add it. Video then, or voice? It's okay. I'm just showing you. It is voice only. And multiple options are there. Okay. It should be it should be voice. So okay, let me go and edit that. But anyways, I'm just showing you this that how you can go and create it. Let me cancel this. If they have this pencil button, click there and you should have voice. Yeah, I'm not we don't have multiple options, only one. So voice like that. I'll go and add one more. So match DSCP and I'll give any number, but you know that how you can go and select the number 32 and then you can go and take the action. Action you can accept class. This time we'll go and give the class as a video. Right, you can go and add one more. Match DSCP maybe 22 or 21 then action except we have this class and then that is this yeah so you can see that how easily we are creating so this is a statement then this is a statement then this is a statement and then we have one statement called best effort we are not giving any matching criteria for that means what is the action on that best effort means best effort whatever remaining it will go via the this statement so let's complete it so then i can go and add one more what we want to match let's see nothing simply go and take the action that's it so all the remaining DSCP, everything we want to match, this is just like default statement. And then the action is best effort, save. And then in the default is accept, save. So two ACLs we have created, right? Then I'll not create one more, but let's just stick with two. Likewise, you can understand that you have to. Then add the route policy, right? Route policy, uh, we can discuss later on, means I'll come back in the next class when we'll discuss more about routing, like OSPF, BGP, OMP, redistribution, etc. So I'll come to that point, okay? 
uh, at the moment I'll leave it. But whatever list we have created, uh, even route creating route policy is easy because we have already list. So what I need to do there, so oops, sorry for that. Uh, so, so what I need to do there, so if I'm creating the route policy, you can see a different, different route policies are here just for your reference example. So route policy, deny infra route, uh, match this particular infra route prefix that we have created and then um, take action. Then you, it, then you have to go and apply it, this route policy somewhere in the redistribution. So what generally it is telling, telling that uh, you are getting the routes from OMP, right? So when you're redistributing uh, OMP inside OSPF, you are getting those routes. You don't want to get those routes from any other source. So you can go and deny it. Again, let's leave it this thing and we will check this in our next next session about the route policy. Let's focus only on QS today. Let's go and check that QS. Leave that. I'll come back to this. So then we can go to next policy overview. Um, I can give the, this is new localized policy. As you can give some good name. NetFlow. Application visibility, cloud QS, uh, implicit ACL logins. These things you want to enable, you can enable. If you have net flow configuration, you can go, go and give the cache entry. You can go give the IPv6 entry, etc. This is just application uh, flow visibility. You know, there in that statement, we have a statement like flow visibility, app visibility, cloud queues. These are the check marks. Uh, so this net flow is for that flow visibility or different thing? Net flow is always a flow visibility. Network flow, that's the name itself. Net flow. This is your application visibility. Then cloud queues, cloud queues service side. These are the check marks you have, right? Okay, so if I do not do this check mark, let's remove, remove, remove. Uh, finally, we have this preview option, right? Click preview. So you don't have those commands on top. But if, if I go back and if I do NetFlow, Application, cloud use three check mark, preview. On top you can see, nothing is showing, great. Oh, it's, it's in bottom. Let me go back one more time. Let me disable it. Just making sure that after enabling it is showing there or not. Let's go to the bottom. It's not there, right? Okay, so you understood this meaning of that. What does it mean? Now, uh, means whatever we are creating as a GUI, that should reflect in the, uh, in CLI as well. So you can see that we have created ACL. Now we have just created, we haven't applied it, right? So I can go and click save. So now one of my localized policy is saved here, but it is not applied anywhere. And you should uh, know all these terms where it is applied or not applied to, what does it mean? So if I go here, let's see, let's see the problem. If I go to the configuration and template, and if I go and apply this to, uh, let me do one thing. Uh, let me create one copy. So if I miss something, I can revert back from the copy. So let's take one copy for this configuration. 
So what I'm telling that if you go on top and if you go click edit and you can go to additional template and in the additional template instead of this localized policy, if you go and use the newly created template and if we click update, it will not push. Why it will not push? Tell me the reason why it, it will not push the template. Well, you're saying uh, this template will not push, huh? Yes. Ask the this, reason, will, huh? this will throw error, failure. Why? Because in localized policy, you have uh, QS map, right? We haven't taken the backup for the localized policy. I should go and take, okay, I'll, I'll show you that difference let me open new session let me copy that uh, configuration that we have created so let me go here to the configuration and policies and uh, it's coming up localize policy and click uh, preview let me copy this <clears throat> Thing. Copy new. Okay, so what I am telling that if you go and push this configuration in the template configuration over VPN zero, does VPN zero knows? that they have uh, this configuration, not this one, but at least, yeah, this this name. This, this name should be there. So what it is telling that instead of this name, over VPN zero interface, they have configuration like US map. It is telling exactly where is the problem. So, when you want to push this template, you have to go and use this name. Let me copy what I'm telling. Again, you'll understand. So what you have to do that you need to check the VPN zero interface configuration. So let me go back to the template. And template. And uh, where is the template related to VPN zero? You can click edit. VPN zero interfaces, I want to see. So I have branch to um, tlog dhcp, that's the name. If you go and click view this template, If you go and click ACL and QS, the interface is zero zero. Click ACL and QS. It's a little bit slow. What is the name? Van QS. What should be the name? QS scheduler. Okay. You got the point. Mm -hmm. Since you are pushing this particular local policy, so whatever name you are using in this local policy, those names should be there in those interfaces and all. Otherwise, this will not work. It will not push. So name consistency is not there. So what we can do to improve it, we can go to this particular template called branch to internet tlog DHCP. So let's go to the feature template. It's a little bit slow. I have to go like this. Template feature branch to do what that internet or something. Branch to yeah, branch to internet T log something. So we can, we should go here, click edit.
and instead of this name, should you rename this like this? I'm dead. And that's the reason I'm telling that whenever you are doing the configuration, you should do everything in the copy one, copy template, you know, because if you do, um, if you go and do the configuration in copy template, like the template which is not attached to any live device, then it will not throw any error. It will understand everything. Later on, you can go and attach to the device. Okay. So let's see. Error number two. What we, we are doing, we are changing the VPN zero. Now see what it is telling that uh, since you have, and I can see the problem. Since you have one template called localized template, which is using QS map feature, this will not work. Okay. So what will be the best practice here? Very interesting, right? How you will push this template? Because if you push the template, ah, it will generate errors all the time. So you have to remove that QS map, push that local feature template first, and then you go and apply that QS map over the interface. So that means the first step is to create the local policy, and the second uh, step is to apply that name for that local policy over the interfaces. And then only they will go and take this and try to do all these things in the template which is not attached with any device and then it will work. Right? So, you can go here. Let me show you this. It's not that difficult. So here you can go to addition template. One copy template that we have. And here I can go and here I can apply. There's no problem. It will update. Oops. Okay, so here we have new policy with new device template. The only thing here is this that whatever interfaces you have so here also you have the same interface name, right? Like uh, branch to internet. There also you go and change that name. So uh, you do one thing, you go here. Let me show you this. This is something that will branch to, right? Branch to interface. So branch to interface, TLOG, DHCP, something is there. You can go here and create copy for this also. Because once you have the copy, then it is very easy for you to edit. And then only this name I'm concerned. I'll go here. I'll go to the QS. You'll find that QS name is Van QS. So I can go here and let's remove this van QS, attach our QS, click update. There's no problem, it will update immediately. Then what you do, then go back to your branch to interface. Uh, we have one copy one, go here, edit. And click this as well. So that's right, right? So there is no problem. It's just confirm that this particular new feature template, which is branch to interface, having QS map, new QS map name right here. There's no problem on this. Then what we can do, we can go to the device template. And in this device template that we have copy one, in this we have the new policy that we have created, right? 
So if you go and check additional template, we have this. Great. And what about the VPN zero? So let's go to the VPN zero. And inside VPN zero, this should be replaced with the new name. We have created one template called one or something. So let's see where is that. Yep. Update. So now you can see that in the configuration, we have the local policy and over the interface, VPN zero interface, we have the new QS map applied, right? Now, if you go and attach this template, so it will work. Okay, any uh, doubt in this? You have any question? So uh, I try to show you the CLI format, the GUI format, and behind the scene, there are so many small, small things that if you do not work, create these templates, it will always go and fail. Again, it will show you some reference the policy name. So now it is showing some problem related to route policy. The route policy where you, you will go and apply, you will go and apply. I will show you this, it's no, not a big deal. Uh, we'll, we are going to continue this session in the next class. The same lab I will continue. Uh, I will attach this new template with all the new variables. You will understand until unless the name that you have in the local policy and the name that you're applying over the interfaces or routing uh, over the routing parameters until that point it will throw error you should have the name consistency otherwise this will never push that new template to the devices okay any other question you have So uh, next week you will start it from here, right? Yeah, I will show you the route policy, but to make this successful for this particular recording, I'll do one thing. I'll go and quickly remove that uh, route policy, uh, but uh, in next class, we have to work on routing policy, routing protocols, so no problem. Uh, let me show you the success related to template. I'll go and edit this template. At the moment, I'll go and go to this route policy. We have we created this route policy. We haven't created it. So that means our template is 100% right. Means this uh, uh, local policy is 100% right. Then what I will do, let's go back to the uh, device template. I know that in this template inside your VPN 10, so let's quickly go and check the service side VPN 10. There is one protocol OSPF is running here. And inside OSPF, we have the redistribution. I just wanted to see the name of the template. So let me quickly see the name of the OSPF template. This is branch to OSPF, all right. So what I will do, let's go back to the Feature template, let's go back to the template feature. Branch to OSPF. And for this also I'll create one copy. Copy. One. And this copy one, I'll go and remove the redistribution keyword. So once you are here, once you are in the uh, redistribute, uh, redistribute, and I think it is there in advanced. So once you are in the advanced section, you can see here that you should have something called policy name. I don't want this default. Update. Okay, and then uh, where we'll go and change that. So you can see now that uh, I can go to 
branch to what was that VPN 10, right? Branch to VPN 10 feature. Let's see. Uh, edit. Uh, for this also, I should create one template, right? Because this is attached one. So let me go one step back one more time. And uh, let's go to the configuration and template. Configuration template. Let's go to feature. Let's check this branch to uh, VPN 10. Where are you? Branch to VPN 10 feature. Let me create one copy for this also. And branch to feature one. And then edit. So what do you want? We want to do some changes in the OSPF. Let's see, we have the Where are you? That's okay. I can't see that we have that. Anything applied here, that's okay. So I'll do one thing. Let me quickly show you this, what I will do next. Go to this place device and we'll go to our copy template, click edit. See, go to service VPN. Go here, click edit. We have changed our OSPF. Click save. I think we are very much done. Click update. And now if you go and apply this, it should work. So let's go and attach. Let's do 10 for. Next. Even you can go and check the configuration, old and new con uh, configuration. Click next. The schedule is. Try to push the configuration. Can wait. I can go and expand this in progress. Uh, Ackles. So in old policy, we have ACLs as well. And these ACLs, we have to all the all the interfaces because we have changed the ACL name as well, right? So um, that is there, I think. That is there in all the VPN. Um, I need to go and edit all the service side VPN with the new ACLs and then only it will work. Okay, you want me to continue or shall I continue from here in next class? It's up to you. Yeah, next class will be good because it is last things it is going top of mind. All right. No problem. Um, if you have 10 more minutes, at least this will work. Anyways, I will show you this in next class as well related to route policy. But let me correct this as well okay uh -huh. give me 10 more minutes so we have ACL we know that we have ACL and we have ACL uh, you can check this with the device configuration because it's still it is running and let's quickly see that what ACLs we have branch to show run uh, VPN 10 
and you can see VPN 10 you have land classification like that you have ACL everywhere so what I can do is to make this little bit faster to do it within two three minutes that we can go back to our policy configuration policy local policy we have our policy i can go and click edit you can go to ACL and that's good thing that you can go and you know uh, you can go and do some sort of edit good thing is that while creating these ACLs um, I have given the almost same name so here you can see on top you have this option to do the edit inside this policy I can go to ACL and here guest Wi-Fi is there I can see guest Wi-Fi here and LAN classification but I don't know that LAN classification so let's give me one more minute uh, in the device itself how it is configured what's the name LAN in the small classification okay sure and VPN 20 uh, it's uh, this name that's very cool so I can't see I can see land classification so uh, I can go here edit I'll make this name as a land classification that's it save and then I can see guest Wi-Fi is there no problem but we have our own guest Wi-Fi the name itself you can see the name also should match you know otherwise it will go and throw all the time errors so what's the name what about uh, VPN 40 what's the name let's see it is guest Wi-Fi that's the name so let's go back here and guest Wi-Fi that we have created I think this we have created click edit save so now we have guest Wi-Fi that's the correct name land classification that is also correct name but the problem here is this that we don't have one other that is something called biz uh, ACL right so if you go click edit we can go to as uh, ACL and we have something that we can import let's see VLAN 20 data what's the name for 20 this is VLAN 20 biz data so that's not the same name but uh, we can do some innovation I can go and call this import this now it is here right and then I can go here click not from here and then we can go back we can go here in the top we can go and click the access control list because we want to edit what you want to edit you want to edit this guy here that is part of security that's not a good thing but anyways just want to make this happen okay okay they are applied to some security policy somewhere so do not mesh with that i don't want to mesh let's go to policy i need one more policy here just to match the final item inside the access control list so let's go back to the access control list and do i have any blank type of policy i think now it is there vpn 20 guest wi-fi land classification what about our local policy so in our local policy if i go here 
click edit access control list I don't have that that's not good sign we have so just i will take maximum five minutes and then we'll stop i just wanted to show you the success message uh, while creating the template and that's my goal so i'll go here and click copy Can I edit this? Just give me a minute. Let's see. If... Oh, come on. This policy is something that is already there attached to some something. It's not allowing me to remove it. If I remove it, then it is throwing some error. Uh, even I am unable to edit this. If I edit this, then again it will throw some error. Okay, let it be. I don't want this name. Apply with some security policy. And I don't care about that policy because we care about our policy that we have as a localized ACL policy. Okay, and simply go and copy this with some new name. This is the name. Okay, and then you go, please go back to the local policy. Inside this, go and edit access import one policy called this port. Great. Then what you will do? You will go to configuration, template, and then you should go here and attach the device. Branch to push. Oops, why I'm going back. Next and configure device and expand this. So I have done so many changes in policy here, there, here, there, um, just to make that this policy should go and push. So we have removed that uh, route policy. We have edited the LAN service side, VPN side, uh, ACL policies. We have edited the VPN zero, that is the ISP side WAN policy. Everything we have edited. And I can see the success message. This is the only thing I want to show you. Maybe it is a little bit too much. You please go and watch this recording. In the next class, we'll still focus on local policy and we'll work with the route policies. Okay, let me...